So I know that arts and culture are vital to having a diverse and dynamic and healthy community. Not only do arts and culture contribute to the life and society here in British Columbia, but they're also economically important. Hiring more than 70,000 people and contributing more than $5.2 billion to the economy every year. I recognize that the cut starts in the last budget were too deep. I think we all do and we want to make sure that community grants are restored to their original purpose. I also want to encourage people to think about how they support the arts where they live. My favorite patron in the whole world is Helen Frankenthaler. I love her paintings and I find her colors to be what really attracts me and mostly when I buy paintings I'm attracted more to the color and form. So this is a Christopher Pratt print that I bought recently. I bought it because partly out of nostalgia, it's from 1985, partly it had kind of a tension and spookiness. I bought it at a junk store on uh, East Hastings, although perhaps the proprietor wouldn't be happy to hear me refer to his store like that. Whenever I have some time and I just want to relax and not think about uh, work or, or other things, I go down there on a Sunday afternoon and poke about and see what he has. So that, that's one of the things I bought recently. So another place that I've uh, purchased art is in Nova Scotia because two of my children attended university there and, and it was the, the first occasion I had to go to Nova Scotia and of course they have a very famous art school there that's produced amazing artists just like we have in BC and so whenever I would go I would look for art and this painting I loved right away because it reminded me of my daughter who, who plays soccer and played soccer in university and um, in the background is the Bay of Fundy which is very beautiful where her where her uh, university was so this really reminded me of her it looks like a young woman maybe a soccer player sitting looking out on the Bay of Fundy this is more staying in, in uh, the realm of BC artists this is a print by Tony only which I bought on one of my thrift store forays actually it was a funny story I bought three of them that uh, appear to be about the same vintage. Two of them were in old frames. So when I took them home and opened the back of the frames, in fact, an extra print was stored behind the original print. So I ended up getting five for the price of three, which was terrific and they're all gorgeous. So that's one of my good art stories. This artist is really an artist who has a lot of nostalgic meaning to me because her name was Shichin Takashima. She's passed on. She was born in Vancouver. She was Japanese. She was interned with her family into the interior of Canada during World War II as many Japanese citizens of Canada were. Her story affected me. She wrote a children's book about her experience and she won an award for that. She was also a very, very good friend of uh, one of my favorite aunts. So when I moved to Vancouver, I sought her out because I loved her paintings. This is a painting that some people find maybe mysterious and somewhat sullen. I just love the character of it, the quality, that miles of nothing kind of painting that you have to be such a fantastic painter to do. This is painted by uh, a woman in Vancouver and I'm embarrassed to say I don't know her name because this is unsigned. And I bought it at a flower shop on Main Street that's run by two or three women who graduated from MLE Carr and they always have shows of small pieces in their shop and I love this painting. It reminds me of Helen Frankenthaler, kind of miles of nothing and just color and I wish it was six feet by four feet so if the woman who painted this recognizes it she should uh, Twitter me or tweet me and, and let me know where she is because I love this painting. So I guess I guess what my art collection shows is that art and culture and creativity and appreciation of other people's talents and what they bring to our, our communities and culture can be threaded throughout your whole life and that your age and stage impacts on what you're attracted to and what you're interested in. It's something you can share with your family and friends. And by purchasing art and culture that you can afford uh, helps to support a dynamic community that's so vital here in British Columbia. So now you know that politicians really do care about art and enjoy art and want to see art continue to be a really, really fundamental and important part.